How's it going there everybody? It's Mr. Zan over here bringing you guys another anime discussion and I'm bringing you guys my first anime for winter 2017 and this anime is Masamune no Revenge and this anime guys is a slice of life anime and involves a teenage boy named Makabe Masamune and this character guys was always fat throughout his whole entire childhood but yeah he was always picked and bullied because of how fat he was but he made it his one his one desire and goal to actually get skinny and good looking to get exactly his revenge on the girl that crushed his dreams because honestly this anime is a slice of life but it's more entitled to like more of teenage angst and teenage drama that ha that happens in high school it's so hilarious after watching this episode due to the fact that you know you're watching this main character go about with his narcissistic tendencies that he has but then it goes on to say like my god man just how crazy are you that you that you want to get a this exact revenge for this just one single girl which her name is adagaki adagaki aki yeah there you go pretty sure i pronounced it right but he wants to get exact revenge on this specific person because of the fact that she's always been beautiful she's always watching her weight but apparently this the main character masamune he just he's out on on this revenge streak that it's it's almost like a psychotic killer like it, that he has these like tendency that it makes him seem like he's almost like lunatic crazy you know and this kind of emphasizes the fact that, you know if a child has that person if i if i would have saw that i was in high school and i saw somebody doing that exact range i'd be like would be like man dude you need to get a life because honestly there are plenty of other girls out there in the world man but other than that you know it's just hilarious how the anime actually went about and it's Hilarious to the fact that it seems like this is also a harem anime as well, or at least it has like a bits and pieces of it due to the fact that we see the main character, like all the other girls are trying to like, they, they practically fell in love with his looks. And it goes on to say that all these teenage girls, they just really want Masam, Masamune just because he just looks good. But yet, A Aki herself, she did not. No siree, she did not. She saw through his ruse and everything. She even calls him Piggy. And by the way, Aki herself is just as bad as the main character. Like these two characters are just as crazy. And it goes on to say that, you know, I'm hoping that kids these days in, in high school, I'm hoping they don't get these kind of revenge streaks in what they see in this particular kind of anime. Because I'm thinking like if, because when I was in high school, I certainly did not go through those kind of phases. If a girl, if a girl didn't like I'd be like, eh, whatever. It's not like you're the most important thing in the world. I'm just like, I will just move on. But just the way that the anime kind of emphasizes on teenage boys is probably due to the fact, you know, because you're not familiar with uh, the other aspects of the whole entire world, you know, and high school is that inner world spectrum right there. Like I said, it's hilarious to see how teenage kids think these days, you know, and you look back and you're thinking, you're like, man, I can't believe I, I thought like that before. You know, it's, it's hilarious, but... At the same time, it's kind of entertaining to watching this high school drama go about. But honestly, I would say I was entertained with this anime due to the fact that it's just hilarious to see these kids go about it. And you literally see the, the main female character, Aki, it's just the fact that her tendencies seem to be more as to, as to play with the, the men's feelings, the boys' feelings, I should say. She plays with their feelings because she knows she's popular, she's smart, she's pretty. But she's using that to an advantage because the fact that all these boys want her but they can't have her because of the fact you know they, they only want her for her looks and she apparently does not want them because apparently they only want one thing and it's just her body i mean that all other than that it makes pretty sense why she's doing that but she just does it in a very cruel way like my god like I, I hate to be in that kind of high school situation where like the women are like that for every for every single guy Ooh. real world does not work like that guys Ooh, trust me it does not it's painful but not into that extreme situation Yikes. But like I said, guys, the anime itself was entertaining from the beginning to the end. And you're here wondering as to how is the main character going to set out his plan to make her fall in love. Granted, though, there was a lot of tropes that were involved with, with the main character, Masamune, trying to make Aki fall in love with him. And it's hilarious because you literally look at Masamune. He, he goes about it and rescues her. He saw her at her weakest point that she apparently, instead of watching her figure, she eats in secret like a pig in order to put a better example for all the other girls out there. Like I said, it's, it's hilarious to see how this is going to go. And this is only the first episode that all of this has happened. And you're here wondering, like, wait a minute, what's more going to be coming up this more of this particular anime itself? What other tricks are these two going to go about? And they already know each other. They, already, they very well know each other to the fact that they both can go about and exploit them both of their weaknesses themselves and their past as well. Like I said, it's 
it's entertaining to see how this anime is actually going. And I personally like this anime to the very end. But let me know down in the comments below, guys, as what were you guys' thoughts on Masamune No Revenge? And honestly, I think I think it's pretty good. I give it a solid solid B due to the fact that the main character just seems a little cuckoo and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, your boys aren't that crazy. Whoa there. Or maybe we are. I don't know yet. But the point is the anime is still pretty good and execution wise it's pretty hilarious entertaining you many viewers are gonna be captivated from the, the story that's gonna be enveloping around there and it's has some comical skits every now and then but like i said there, it's fairly light humor that the way i kind of see it throughout this anime but like i said guys that's it for today's anime let me know down in the comments below as to what are you guys thoughts on this anime itself and what do you guys expect out of this anime as well to see if anything else envelops or if there's gonna be more romanticism involved with the two main characters themselves do you guys really think these two main characters are gonna fall in love with each other or do you guys think they're gonna they're gonna really just separate and fall in love with other personalities or persons that are actually out there as well like i said guys let me know down in the comments and as always guys have a wonderful day but this is mr zen signing out